Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you are watching Voodoo the EVR. <laughs> Today we will play Dimio on the Oculus Quest 2. And this is a um, dungeon crawler. It's an adventure and um, we are in deep dungeons. We have to fight um, enemies, monsters and stuff. And this is uh, very interesting. You will find everything about the Unair on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Open Money Events, Peter Vaz, my Virtual Escape and Adam's Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay, guys, the mad welcome to locked in his the game. His spirit trapped between this world and the next. In a desperate bid for immortality, he made a terrible pact with the outer darkness, bringing certain doom on himself and his entire race. Hmm. And now, vile corruption seeps into the surrounding lands. To save the realm, you must find and set his spirit free and vanquish any foul fiends <laughs> standing in your way. Nice. Dimio. Dun, 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 dun. Lording. So that was a pretty cool intro. Hello? Okay. Welcome cool. to Dimio. Ha. The elven necropolis is filled with treasures, dangers, and horrors. I'll teach you how to face them all. Cool punk we'll style. start with the basics. Cool. Point at the OK button with your hands and press the trigger. First, you need to know how to move around in the catacombs. We'll start press and hold the grip button on your right or left control. Keep the button pressed. Oh, we can move and around move your here. Hand. Now, we'll try moving around with both hands. Both hands. Let's try to zoom in and out. Press and hold both grip buttons. While holding both buttons, oh. move your... Good. Now, for the last step, I'll teleport you back some. Just keep looking forward and press OK. Cool. Abracadabra. Now, keep looking forward and press and hold both grip buttons on your controllers. Rotate your hands clockwise to turn toward the table. Huh? Excellent. Dragging, Whatever. rotating, and zooming. Okay. Time to play. Move around until you have a good view of your champion. I have. And then we'll continue deeper into the crypt. Cool. Let's to do? how to move your champion. Nice. The highlighted tiles show how far you can move. Oh, this is how far I can move, yeah. Pick up your champion by pointing at it and pressing and holding the index. Drop your champion ah, on this tile by nice. moving it there and releasing. Great. Each move with your champion counts as one action how and many? costs one action point. Interacting with certain objects in the levels, such as doors, uh -huh. will move your champion to it and count as an action. Pick up your champion again. Place them on the door to open it. Ah. Since that was your second action, you're now out of action points. Okay. You have two action points each Two time. action points, okay. You can check how many you've left on your right wrist. Oh, here, yeah. See that? Now, it's the enemy's turn. Enemy's turn. All right. Monster team. Damn! Ouch! Enemies can deal damage to your champion when they get close and attack. Hover over a champion or enemy to display their health. You can see that you took one damage from that rat. Time for some payback. 
Attack the rat by placing your champion on top of it. Cool. Pick up and throw the die with your index trigger. Uh, this is attack. <laughs> nice! Back, Good job. Back, I say. The die has three different faces. Oh. A sword means a hit. A double sword means a critical hit. Oh. And a skull means you've missed. Oh shit! So skull is very bad. Nice. Let's move on. Open the next This sword is cool. I love it. It is the enemy's knife. No! Oh, poison here. As the slime's attack is poisonous. An icon above your champion indicates that you have been poisoned. Damn. Attack the slime now. Remember, you throw the die by first picking it up with your index finger and then release as you throw Bam! Not quite He's still alive. Kill. Have another go at it. Kill him. Yeah. Well Shit. Done. But you're getting low on health. We should find a way to restore it. Restore health? Glowing markers indicate POIs, points of interest. Often worth investigating. Okay. Move over here to reveal these POIs. This is a chest. Ah. It contains useful cards. Cool. Open the cards. chest by dropping your champion on top of it. Ah, there you cool. Go. Now turn your wrist to see your card hand and take a closer look at your new card. The description tells you what it does. Seven health points. The action points icon at the top of the card tells you how many actions are needed. Oh, to okay. It. Zero. Grab the healing potion with your index trigger. Drop the card on your champion. Cool. Nice. That should keep you alive awesome. a bit longer. A new enemy has spawned. Since you only have one action point left, you can't reach it this time. Okay. Open the next chest instead. Maybe there's something inside. Enemy turn. Shit. Oh. I can zap. There you go. Now turn your wrist to see your card hand and your new card. Zap is a replenishable card. You can use it once, and then it will refresh for your next turn. Cool. Pick up Zap and use it on the enemy. Drop the card on the god pick up and throw the die with your index finger. Can he do that? Bam! Your Zap stunned the goblin. Now, use your second action point to do a melee attack. I love it. <laughs> when you vanquish enemies, you gain card energy. Check your card meter on the champion or in your card hand. What was that? Card energy. Oh, here. Okay. Killing those enemies was enough to fill up the card meter, giving you a new class card. Ah! I'll join in with my champion now, just to give you a hand. A champion is down when their health reaches zero. Okay. Revive your ally by placing your champion on top of them. We cheat death! One cool. Are crucial for surviving the necropolis. This is a healing fountain. Healing it will fountain. will replenish you and your allies' health. Might be okay. see the exit over there. You need a key to unlock it. Oh, a key. Every for the game ex of Demio consists of three levels. Oh. In the first two, you need to find a key and then the exit gate. In the last one, you must defeat the evil guardian protecting Ooh. the sarcophagus of the mad Elven King. Oh no! What? All right. Enough with the hand holding. Let's see what you've learned. This enemy holds the key. Okay. Kill it, and the key is yours. Attack the enemy to obtain the key. Ah! 
I still have one left, right? Oh! Damn! No! I have readied my spell. So what do we have? A, a wall, but we don't need a wall. And we don't need that because they are next to us. He should be down now, that's cool. Back! Back, I say! It's the monster's turn. Monster's turn. Damn! So I have the key, but uh, we have to kill this guy. Let's kill the... Abomination. Oh, we can remote throw the... Oh, nicely done. You're ready to face whatever the elven necropolis can throw at you. And now? Will you prove strong enough to defeat the corrupted behemoth awaiting you at the end? Ooh. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Finish the tutorial by placing your champion on the exit. Nice! We did it! <laughs> That's cool. So, and here we are. That was a skin... Look at this. We have different skins. Assassin. I think I will see that only. Mask. <laughs> That's cool. And uh, here we can host a game and stuff. Here's our progress. Let's check out audio. Oh, I can, I could turn off the music because of copyright, but that's already too late. <laughs> I will do that now. German. Yeah, but there, there was uh, the, uh, the English stuff. Hey, cool. <laughs> that, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Tutorial, we already see that. Yeah, so you've seen how that works. I will play one round on my on my German channel to, to check it out how it is. If you want to check my video, you see in the description below. But uh, I would say, yeah, let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Demio, guys. So I played uh, half a round on my German channel channel and I totally like this game. It's really cool, but of course you have to love uh, round-based strategy games. It's even cool in single player. I love it, uh, but you can also play it in multiplayer, cooperative or against each other. It's so cool. Uh, the game will be uh, 30 bucks and you will be able to play it on, on Quest standalone or on Steam VR. And uh, Yes, it's an awesome game. I, I totally give this th thumbs up. It's a lot of fun. You need a lot of strategy. And uh, for me, this is the best round uh, based strategy game on, on uh, VR, I would say. Uh, at least one of the best. I, I give this thumbs up. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo